Hey guys, so there it is, a manual transmission guys. Here is a 328i E36 guys. That manual transmission is about to go into this car in depth. I'm also gonna discuss the pivot pin guys. I'll show you exactly where that goes onto the transmission, super duper important. Also guys, we're gonna install a brand new release bearing. I'll show you exactly how this goes on. You can't put it on wrong. Inside of the transmission, I'll show you how to prep all this. That's the old release bearing. I'll show you how to prep this. Uh, this is the old pivot, pivot pin underneath here. It's super duper worn out, guys. So I'll show you why you have to change it. See what I mean? Let me get this out. So there's that. Look at this thing nothing left on it i'm also going to put a brand new spring like this clean this up a little bit and we're going to install this transmission into this car guys and another thing we're going to do guys is i will show you some of the bolts uh the difference between automatic bolts and manual bolts because this is a swap guys so underneath the car as you can see everything is 100 percent ready here for the tranny to go on we did all that in a previous episode. Check that episode if you want. It's super, super detailed. It shows you which direction the clutch disc goes on, which a lot of people are getting wrong. Uh, so we're at this point and we're gonna put the transmission in. So let's get started right away, my beautiful viewers. In this video, we're also gonna put on the shifter linkage uh, once the transmission's in. And we're also gonna put on the slave mat or the slave cylinder for the clutch guys and we're gonna put the starter on. So that's what this video will cover. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do, we gotta block 320 grit sandpaper. Let's see some of this has like corrosion on it. It's not very smooth. So we're not going bananas here, but you just wanna, and it has to be on a block guys. So we're gonna go all around, just smooth it out. See what I mean? So now it's nice. Nice and smooth. See, it didn't take much. Okay, I'm gonna go around and do the whole tranny like that. Okay, so there it is. That took literally 35 seconds. Super nice and smooth. Second thing we're gonna do, just gonna get a little bit of brake cleaner, guys. And we're just gonna spray this a tiny bit. Like, see how there's some, some whatever oil or something from uh, me taking it off, right? Just gonna spray that, grab a rag, and just clean it up a little bit. Get rid of some of the dust. Not going crazy with this, guys. Okay, so that's step number two. Okay, step number three, we gotta get this pivot pin out. We got a nice, fresh new one. So the first thing we're gonna remove is this spring. You just kind of press it together. See, and we have a new one. This is basically garbage. It's rusty and it doesn't have much, I mean, you could reuse it if you really wanted to. Anyways, so that's out. And then to get this out from the back of the transmission, see, right over here, you can literally put like a screwdriver in that hole and just tap it out. And there it is. One of the worst parts ever made by BMW. Okay, let's go get the metal one. Okay, so here it is. Here's the old one, as you can see the difference. This is plastic, this is copper. This will last forever. So you put a little bit of bearing grease on the bottom of it. I got some bearing grease on my screwdriver here. Get it in this hole. Get a little bit on here. All right, let's slide her in. Okay, so that didn't fully work. So now what I got is a 16 millimeter on an extension and that will just go right on the outside of it. The only thing is I'm gonna need somebody to like hold the transmission. So when I'm hammering that, it doesn't slide. The only thing is I need some kind of buddy here. Oh, Tom, what are the odds, buddy? Oh, oh man, can you, can you give me a hand? I just need you to hold the tranny for a minute. But you'd never ask. All right, you hold it, I'll bang that thing in. Thank you. 
Thank you for giving me the opportunity, problem solver. Like and subscribe, say something positive in the comment feeds. All right, let's do it. All right, man, you ready to hold this? I was born ready for a job like this, Tom. All right, ready? Sure am. How do I do it then? I just hold it. Oh! So what are you doing exactly, problem solver? I'm putting this pivot pin in. Just put it in. Oh, you're putting it in? Look at the old one. Pivot no more. Okay guys, so now that that pivot ball is in, we're grabbing some 320 grit sandpaper and we're just gonna give this a light sand just to get any unsmoothness off of it. And we're also gonna do the exact same thing to this. So I put the pilot bearing on here before I put it on in there and it just fits like snug, but it goes on, it comes off. So this is good, it's not worn out. So you give it a light, just like that. It's all it really needs. Okay, so once you do that, you get yourself a rag, you wipe all this down. Everything's looking good here. Make sure that this is clean. If it's not, you get a little wired brush, clean all those, those uh, the, the spleen or spline, whatever it's called, clean all these out. And okay, next we're gonna put a nice new spring. So let's get this thing on. So the way you put that on, right, same way that you pulled it off, you just give it a little squeeze and it goes onto the pivot pin. Okay, let's get this on. You don't want to squish it too much. There, see? Just like that. You want it to basically face this thing. Okay, so we got that on. Okay, guys, next we're gonna put this thing on. Um, it doesn't matter if it goes this way or this way because it is the same. So, okay, I'll show you how to put this on in a second, but first, we're just gonna get a little bit of sandpaper, clean both these sides, so I'll do that first. Okay, it's been about 30 seconds, so we cleaned it. See, not, nothing too crazy, but we gave it a little scrub. So now that it's nice and clean, you're gonna grab some anti-seize, guys. Great, great, wonderful stuff, great product. Get some, you can use it for lots of different things. So we're gonna take this anti-seize, and let me show you where we're gonna put it. Okay, so you're just taking a little bit of it, nothing too crazy. You're gonna put a little bit in there, a little bit in there. On here, you're gonna put a little bit on this. Nothing too crazy. Right, and then you're gonna put a tiny bit on the tip of the pivot pin that okay and you're gonna put a tiny bit on this so the clutch plate can slip on it nice very very little okay so that's what we're doing there okay guys so we're gonna take this and you're gonna put it right into that spring there, like, like this. I apologize if you can't see, but I will show you in a minute. There you go, see that? Holds it. Here, take a look in case you wanna see how that goes. See, it goes like around it. Double check, grab your phone, make sure in the back it's still on, it didn't fall off. It's gotta be on like this. Okay, so now that that's on, we're gonna grab our release bearing, our nice brand new one that we just purchased, and see how there's like these two flat areas on it? So those have to slide onto there and there. Like I've seen people literally put these on like this. That's not how you put it on. It goes like that. Get it? Like this goes on top, that goes at the bottom. It fits right in there. There's like 
purpose, purposeful little spots there for it, little pivot points. So before we put it on, we're gonna grab a little bit of anti-seize and we're gonna put a dot here and a dot there, dot here and dot here at these contact points. See what I mean? Just like that. You could put a tiny bit in there. And here. And here. Okay. So now, that just slides right on. See, and that goes in there like so. There we go. So now when, when your slave cylinder in here, like right in here, pushes on that, right? See, it will move this. See that everything moves super smoothly. That's how you want it. Okay guys, this transmission is ready to go in. Okay, let me go set up underneath. All right guys, so before we put this thing in, uh, let's talk about the bolts really quick. So I got both set of bolts. I got all the bolts from the manual transmission and I got all the bolts from the automatic transmission. So now if you're doing a swap and you don't have any of the bolts, there's only really two bolts that are different. And like, if you look at your tranny like this, right? So basically all the bolts are the same size, starter, everything's the same. But these two right here, see this one, see how long that is? And uh, this one right here so both the wet the ones that have the uh dwells right are longer let me show you i keep saying dwells for those but they're dowels anyways so here it is see they are a little bit longer so these are the manual ones these are the automatic ones could you get away with using these well i'm not gonna tell you you can but see they come out quite a bit too right it's that versus that right so that's the two differences i would say get the longer bolts whatever you got to do it if you're doing a swap okay otherwise they're all the same so now we're gonna go put this in the car guys um so let me show you how i set up the motor okay so the motor is set up and it kind of you know it leans as far as it'll go back it's basically as far as it'll go um but the thing is though if you don't support it in the front you can use a engine hoist or what I did is see I just put a jack under here with a board see and it just pushes up against the front of the motor like the pan right so what that does is it keeps the motor like this if that wasn't there the second you pull your tranny off the motor tilts back like this right and then it's hard to get the tranny on so I got it leaning forwards or backwards I guess so we're basically ready. Let's go underneath. Yeah, so underneath here, see, everything's ready to go. We're basically ready to, you know, I got an episode where I installed the shifter. I got an episode where we put all this stuff on, right? This is the transmission installation episode. These dowels are very, very important, guys. Make sure, you know, they fit into that side and they fit into your transmission side. There's one there and there's one there. So in the clutch video right i i talk about those and we check if they fit a lot of times guys go to put this in and these don't line up a little bit and they get squashed and then your tr your transmission's not on all the way it's got to when we're putting it in guys we're gonna attach it you know and it's got to slide in and then when you're tightening your bolts you don't just tighten one bolt all the way that's how you bend stuff you have to gradually go around and you know, in a crisscross pattern, slowly, slowly, suck the whole tranny back, guys. I hope I'm explaining that good. Okay, I'm gonna get a jack, let's set up for this. All right, so here's the transmission. We just got it on a big jack, see? We took the handle off, or I took the handle off. See, I got it just like that, sitting on there. So I literally can just drive it in now, as long as I take my time. It should be pretty easy to do. Okay, so here it is for the side. I basically drove it in, it was so easy, right? Just so you can get an idea of what's going on. There's the motor, right? So let's go on right in the behind it. Okay, so I'm directly behind it as you can see. So I mean, 
you know, that bolt and that bolt is gonna go in there and there. Like this is lined up perfect. All I gotta do now is just slowly, see I don't even really need two people, nothing. See look, whole thing's going up. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do before we put it up, I'm just gonna look inside of the transmission really quick. Okay, you just wanna double check, make sure everything is where it's supposed to be, right? So everything's looking good here, guys. Okay, and then on the this part, right, you just wanna make sure that this back plate is on the dowels, which it is. Um, she's good to go, you know. Make sure all the holes line up. Sometimes these can bend out of shape. I talk about that in the clutch video. Okay, I'm gonna lift this up and slide it in. Okay, so I was about to lift it, but I realized something. I don't have enough jack. When this jack is maxed out all the, all the way to the top, it still won't be high enough. So what I gotta do is I gotta slide in maybe like two or three two by fours flat right there. So I'll do that really quick right now. Okay guys, so I have it on two boards. Okay, let's try it. Okay, I'm gonna try driving it in a little bit. Okay guys, so that's the front, right? So I mean, I'm getting somewhere. It's pretty close, but see now, like before you start pushing it in like crazy, so you can tell that this whole tranny is like this way, right? So I'm gonna have to bring the back out to kind of straighten it, and then I might be able to push it in. And also looking at it from this angle, I think the back also needs to go up like an inch. So like that's the kind of stuff you're playing around with, right? It should line up. You just gotta pay close attention. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. So now, all I gotta do is turn it a little bit to line those dowels up. I gotta turn it probably like an inch. See, look at that. It's beautiful. Went in effortlessly. Okay, so now before we kick the jack away or do anything else, see, we clean these up really good, wired brush, and he sees them. And we're gonna try to get one in on each side. And now the other side. See how nice it's sitting? Like that's how you want it. You want it, you don't wanna have to suck it in with the bolts. You want it to sit all the way in before you put the bolts in. You get what I'm saying? So that way you know it's good. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean every single bolt uh, with a wired brush put anti-seize on it. I'm gonna put them all in just with my fingers for now. And once they're all in, I will get back to you. Like we're gonna grab the tranny and just kind of make sure it's sitting in all the way before we start tightening stuff. Finger tight first. Okay, it's probably been about 15 minutes. You know, I'm slowly tightening them a little bit. So basically the whole transmission is on perfect. Check it out. See what I mean? She's on there nice and tight. Every bolt went in easy. Like I didn't have to force anything guys uh, everything went super good so now basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go around in a crisscrossing pattern and you're just gonna snug all these up uh, nice and tight guys okay before I tighten all these I just wanted to point one thing out remember earlier when I said two of the bolts were longer for the manual transmission well here's the automatic transmission bolt here's the manual one like this is the car that I got them off of but look that one would have worked fine too. So realistically, you should be able to use your automatic transmission bolts 
They're all basically the same. Like that totally would have worked. Okay, I'm gonna go around, snug all this up, guys. And as soon as I'm done snugging these up, making them nice, we're moving on to this shifter up here, guys, wherever it is. I'll show you how to connect that properly. All right, so all the bolts are nice and tight and snug. Everything's good. I know I said we would do the shifter next, but actually we got to put on the, uh, the slave cylinder here. Pretty straightforward. Uh, so we anti-seized right there, see? Those two, uh, one there, one there, so they're nice and loose or whatever. And, uh, so, or not rusted, I mean. So now you just basically take this thing here, right, and we're just gonna put it on. Um, I should probably use both my hands. So anyways, that just goes on like that. Put it on nice and straight so it presses up against in there, right? Okay, I'm gonna do that off camera. Okay, so the slave cylinder is on, as you can see, no problems there, super duper easy. Next guys, before we lower this whole contraption, right? Uh, so we're gonna have to take out that jack first, right? And then we'll be able to lift this up. And then once that's up in the air, right? We can put this in. Um, to hold this whole tranny in place, then we can get rid of the jack, right? But before we do that, guys, we're gonna get in here with some long, long extensions, right? And we gotta put the starter on. So we're gonna get the starter on. See, it goes right there, one and two bolts, as you can see. So we're gonna put the starter in, get those bolts in for the starter. Once the starter's on, we're getting rid of this jack up there, right? Then we're gonna jack this whole contraction up and put this uh, transmission mount on. Um, pretty straightforward, right? I'm just gonna fast forward till that's all done. Okay, the starter is on. Um, can you see it? Yes, you can. Uh, honestly, it was not hard. It was super easy. Okay, so now let's lift this up. So we remove the front jack, obviously. Um, I mean, Pretty straightforward, right? That, and then this thing's gonna go on. Okay, I'm gonna put this on and then I'll just show you guys the direction of it and stuff. Okay guys, it's getting so late. I've been out here all day actually, but, um, so I got the cross member on or the transmission support. Let me show you. Okay, so there it is. See, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. See the. This is different than the one that was on here originally. Like the automatic transmission one is a different shape, right? So uh, like it used this bolt and that bolt, like these two holes. This one is more forwards, but the holes are already there. So everything worked out great. So as you can see, that's how it goes on in case you're wondering. And you know, uh, these transmission mounts go there and we just got to put a couple uh, nuts still right there. Uh, I just gotta go find them in one of my bags. So I put those two nuts on. So now you know how that goes, guys. Okay, next we're gonna do this shifter linkage up here, guys. So there it is. Uh, take a very close look at it. Um, I do have an episode where I put this whole thing on. You can check it out. But anyways, so up there. Okay, let me switch positions and show you how this goes. Okay, so obviously this thing here, right, is gonna go right in there. Um, you know, and there's a nut and bolt, right? So, okay, let's let's put that on so you guys can see what it looks like. And we're gonna put anti-seize on everything so that nothing's seized up. Okay, so we got this thing attached. See, as you can see, I mean, if you just look at this video for a minute or two, right? I mean, you can figure out how this goes, right? I, I tightened up pretty tight. I didn't go too crazy. I didn't want to crack anything on the transmission, right? So I got that nice and nice and snug, but not too crazy. So that's how all this goes, guys. So next, we got to put on this part here. Um, the only problem with it is it's super corroded and rusty, right? So like, I'm going to basically, you know, sand this, clean this, put anti-seize on it. Um, I believe there's supposed to be two of these little washers, like one on one side, one on the other. But I think we're missing some. 
So I'm just gonna put those ones there and I'm just gonna leave it without it because I don't have any. Um, also these like things that lock it, see like they're kind of bent and stuff. So I'm gonna grab some pliers. I'm gonna bend all these straight. Like that's what you gotta do. You gotta kind of pay attention to what's going on. This one's okay. Um, okay, so I'm gonna prep this thing up really nice and then we're gonna put it on. Okay guys, so there it is. See, I cleaned it up a little bit, you know, with a file, got some of the rust off, did both sides, right? Looks pretty good. I took these little guys, straightened them out with some pliers. These should work great now. There's the other one. Nothing really to it, right? So now I'm just gonna take some anti-seas and like I'm gonna cake all this with anti-seas like that before I put it on, right? So everything's nice and lubed up, you know. That's what you gotta do guys to, to have like a smooth working shifter where it's like, whoa, wow, it feels like a brand new car. Well, this is the trick guys. So underneath the car, I'm gonna put some anti-seas in those holes too where this is gonna go. And then at the end of everything, I'm gonna take some bearing grease like this, also great stuff, and like, I'm gonna put it all over these things. See, they're kinda rusty, but not too bad. They're still solid. So if they're all covered in this kind of grease, they won't get any more rusty. Should be good for another 20 years. Okay, let's go put all this together, guys. Oh yeah, guys, and my bad for what I said earlier. So these little guys, I just checked in the book. So these little plastic things, they go on like so right and then you're gonna put it in and then these go on so so it's right there was only one okay let's go underneath okay so in here right before we put this thing on anti sees get in these holes so it's nice and anti sees that one and the other one you get the idea right see they're nice and and he seized in there. I'll get in better off camera. Okay, and then we're gonna put this thing on. I'm gonna slide it in and then I'll show you guys which direction it goes in. Okay, just about to put this thing in. So see, there's like a V to it. So this is a V. This is an upside down V. So you put it upside down V on this side. Okay, let me get it on and show you what it looks like. All right, so here it is installed in case anybody is curious. See the V goes up. See it's on that side of the shifter, on the transmission. It's on that side. See, got the pin on that side. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, let's see how she shifts. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching Problem Solve Garage. Next episode, intake manifold, all the vacuum hoses, everything. Thanks for watching. I love Problem Solver Garage.